Welcome to the Morning Glory Radio Show, hosted by Pastors Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church of Lee Summit, Missouri. Sit back, relax, and be ready to feel God's glory for your life. Amen, amen. It's good to be back in the house again. This is our uh, sanctuary from away from our sanctuary. This is our our palace away from our palaces this is a blessed time in the lord and this is the morning glory radio broadcast which is the radio ministry of glory bible fellowship international church located at 1126 northeast delta school road in lee summit missouri we uh, have services on wednesday at 7 p.m and uh, we are breaking down uh, the spirit of jezebel this week so you got to be in the house and get an understanding uh Amen. prophetess will be doing an awesome teaching so 7 p.m tomorrow night be in the house be empowered to defeat jezebel and then we uh, have our sunday services of course this sunday is christmas but every sunday we have our sunday service starting at nine o'clock with our fellowship breakfast uh 9 35 empowerment class and then 10 15 we start with prayer 10 30 then we have our service this sunday Sunday is a special service. We'll start at nine o'clock. Uh, it'll be a Sunday morning uh, celebration of our Lord. Uh, of course, it happens to fall on Christmas, so we love for you to be there. Uh, if you don't have a church home, come in, in fellowship with us. Uh, we'll have you out right before lunch so that you can go and en enjoy time with your family. But get there early because we're going to have a great time. It's at 9 o'clock. Uh, Prophetess, I know you got a, a deliverance meeting. Why don't you tell us about that? Well, first I want to say when you talk about empowerment class, I'm excited because we're getting ready to start probably like 21 weeks of living debt free. It's going to be doing our empowerment time hour. Amen. And all our teachers, we have some wonderful teachers, all our ministers, deacons, and deaconess, amen. We actually have Deacon Clarence Harris here, my, our spiritual son, my is here God. with us, and he's going to be one of those teachers um, to be teaching on debt freedom, amen. And so you have to be there at 9.35 a.m. You know, we have to understand you have to receive the impartation. You know, yeah. I believe in doing things correctly in the kingdom, not just making people just like that name it and claim it. Amen. You have to receive that word into your spirit so that when God is speaking and then when you're sowing, it's a manifest. It brings about a manifestation. So we already know what's going to take place at Glory Bible Fellowship International Church for 2017. Yeah. yeah. They're going to be I'm prophesying right now. There's going to be marvelous testimonies of Jesus Christ having people to be walk in debt freedom amen hey amen we just going we're going to go back to uh our uh, cut up uh, credit card cut up ceremony. Every time somebody pay one credit card off, we gonna come up and cut Amen. it up. Amen. Because that brings an empowerment. I believe that, and this is what God's doing. The preached word in a Sunday service is uh, the uh, building of what the empowerment class does. The empowerment class is yeah. the word because the word dis defeats strongholds in people's minds. Right? It yeah. takes word after word after word. The Bible says, uh, uh, "How do you get faith? Faith come by." hearing and hearing the word of god so you keep giving the word i, I used to i used to mar marvel to see uh kenneth copeland and uh, uh jesse duplantis and those that just teach the same thing over and over and over again and and then you know it hit me we were watching a movie and in yes, that movie, yes. it said it takes nine times for somebody to repeat the same thing before somebody understands it. Amen. So, uh, so uh, 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 we can. <laughs> and this I, wasn't a Christian movie. No, it wasn't. It, it jumped out. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you, like uh, I see my son. When you, he want to jump in. in. He, <laughs> and we we still on announcements, by the way. <laughs> That's the power of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> well, you know what? What you said is so good because the you, the Word of God is conditioning. Our, our thought process so that we can hear from the Holy Spirit. Amen. And uh, so many of the times we want to hear from the Holy Spirit, mm, but we're not on, on the same wavelength. Mm. You know, we have to have that word. So it's like when you're looking for a specific vehicle, a specific house, you notice you don't see that particular house or vehicle until when you're you're, you're on the, the, the wavelength of looking for it. Then you're like, oh, wow, there's all these. Same thing with the, the Word of God conditions us so we hear from the Holy Spirit and He walks us through those things, that steps we need to take to obtain debt freedom. Yeah, yeah. You know what, the, you know what uh, Deacon Harris, you're so right because if you're not on the right frequency, we you can't... We have to be on the airwaves right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah. If you're not on the right frequency, you will not hear uh, that station, right? right? We're on uh, uh, KPRT 1590, soon to be on one 
106.1. What I'm saying is <laughs> if you're not tuned into the proper station, you could be at 106.3, you'll hear it fuzzy, but you won't hear it uh, uh, for real. Yeah. But when you get to 106.1 or when you get to 1590 uh, KPRT on the AM, you'll be able to hear us clearly because you're on the right wavelength yeah. and so when we get the word in us like we keep getting the word in us that is tuning us in to the right radio frequency of god yes. and so that's why we got to get the word we have to get the word because it helps tune us right. and, 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 and 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 we're listening to wgod instead of a uh, uh, devil worship radio as, as more and more because the word is just cleaning us up cleaning us up yeah. cleaning us up and it's getting us in the right frequency Amen. 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 You know, and thinking about that, you know, prophetically, you know, if you're not tuned in to 1590 on the AM, which is bring about faith and speak, speak, feeding your spirit, man, if you turn into 103 FM, that's not feeding your spirit, man. Mm -hmm. You'll get something else. You get yeah, something. Every now and then they'll throw a, a nugget yeah, over there, right? Something. But if you want to, you dealing with stuff in your life and you know that at certain times, throughout this here day that you need your spirit man to be uplifted right. and filled, you know you're going to need to turn in to the AM dial on 1590. Right. Amen. Or, or Coming next year. Yeah, coming next year, bro. I'm just giving it now. Look at Pastor. He is so excited. I if you am. guys do not understand about I the am. FM, amen. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a radio man. You know, I, I, I've i been on the radio a long time, not just on this station, but uh, when I worked a secular job, coming on the radio, the clear the, the, the clear signal of being on the radio uh, really helped. We, originally, the program that I used to be on used to come on once a, a week or so. It was on the AM station. But then when it switched to the FM, uh, uh, the voice got larger i'm excited because that helps uh the word of god's Amen. voice get larger not just for for our program yes it helps our program but uh other programs throughout the day part all are uh speaking god's uh prophet prophetic word speaking god's deliverance word speaking god's uh spoken word much much louder clearer a uh, deeper uh, uh range man that's powerful and prophet is talking about deeper range and deliverance you have a, a end of the year deliverance me why don't you tell us about that so on december uh you know hearing from the lord i god's never late but december the 30th um, I was just waiting to hear from the Father and had some intercessors that was encouraging me behind the scenes. <laughs> Amen. So I couldn't let loose. So December the 30th, which is know that we're going into 2017. Mm -hmm. And really, I woke up this morning. I was speaking to my husband. This was after the date. So mark that date down, December the 30th at 7 o'clock p.m. Um, be there with myself and cry out ministry. And one of the things the Lord spoke to me in uh, reference for that particular meeting, what he said to me was, let your end bring about your beginning. Mm. And so we need, and some of you in the body of Christ, there's some things you've been walking with and dealing with, and you've been um, managing, let me put it this way, managing these devils, but God says it's time to put an end to them. Mm. And so this is open to the community at large. Um, and so this is an opportunity for you to partner with me and God to come in and be set free regardless of what it is. You, you've been struggling with a healing issue. You've been struggling your finances. You come in. And so one of the things I um, I had people, when I put the flyer up that was on Facebook, Deacon, they was like, I'm going to be there or what have you. I didn't really do an RSVP, but it was good. People was, it was just confirmation because sometimes yeah. I struggle with that when I have to do these memes because it requires a whole lot of me. And people don't know that. It requires of me fasting. It requires of me being in a certain position because I'm standing in the gap against, you know, against Satan on behalf of God's people. But God always backs me. Yes. Amen. What compels yes. me to do it is because when I see the transformation that take place on the people, you don't know what that looks like. Yes. When you see somebody walk in with a spirit of death on them, yeah. that the devil got their claws in them, and then the power of God comes in and set them free. Mm -hmm. Amen. And so you need to be there. So to do some form of fast and put at least you have to pull the meat out. Jesus said that this can only come out by prayer and fasting. So the 28th through the 30th, you're going to Christmas going to be finished. You're going to add so much food anyway. You should love to do this three day fast, but come in the house of God expecting my daughter, which is um, Deacon Harris's uh, wife. She is the queen of expectation. Amen. <laughs> and I said this way. Expectation is the breeding ground for miracles. You 
so right. If yeah. you are looking for a miracle or yes. breakthrough of any kind, you need to be prepared. Get in the face of God. Determine that I will not allow the devil to ride my back into tw- oh my God mm. into 2017. Yes. Amen. You got children that need to be set free. You yes. come and stand in the gap for them, and they you want to break the spirit of poverty off your life in the name of Jesus. So come in and partner with me, with God, with Cry Loud Ministry for December the 30th at 7 o'clock p.m. at Glory Bow Fellowship International Church. There is the anointing of God. There's a different power of God. Thank God for Pastor Adam being a man of prayer and a man that recognized that as a pastor. I want to say this because he's a pastor. He's a yeah. senior pastor. He's a pastor pastor. But he understands, and it is him that pushed my gift of deliverance. He understands that the people of God, even though they come to church every Sunday and every Wednesday, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but they now. need deliverance. Come on, son, yeah. you've been in those deliverance meetings. Yes, you've yes. seen how God, you know, function in that. Yes, yes. And we, we often look at deliverance as a bad thing um, and or, or, or not needed because we go to church and we're in the body. But we, we often pick up things and open doors and things that have been passed down that we know we deal with, things that are riding us. And, and what this deliverance is about is no more free ride. Get off my back. Woo! You know, no more free ride. You don't want that big gorilla just weighing you down. And um, there was a movie one time I looked at the end, and it was this person looked like they were going crazy, but he couldn't see in the spiritual realm that this mm. this this thing was the spirit was on his back. He was hunched over. They committed this person and Who locked them up. And it looks from the natural to the spiritual. That's what it looks like when these things are on your back, clutched to you, no matter what he threw himself all over the wall. I mean, just may, almost maimed himself trying to get that weight off his Didn't back. Didn't know what it was. Nothing could get that weight off your back except the prayer of deliverance for, by the Holy Ghost. Amen. Mm. About G- and son, you said it because you, I have a master in social work. You know my heart is for those, you know, I've seen the power of God of people that have been diagnosed with mental illness and what they do is put them on full, full of medication and stick them in a in a, um, a sane asylum yeah. and then that just gives more room for those demonic spirits and we're seeing the power of God of a young lady in our congregation who used to be on 55 forms of medication and now uh, being under the, the uh, under our covering yeah. she stood up and gave the testimony been only under our covering since, two, since 2015 mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. what did she she said past that how many is she on right now uh, one. 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 Barely one. One. And who did that? Jesus. She yes. kept coming and coming. She fight, but she keep coming. The devils keep trying to escape okay, because her testimony is, and hopefully I can maybe have her there so she can share that testimony because we know some things. Amen. That a lot of other people don't know. Yeah. If you wonder why you fighting and wrestling with stuff, you got to have an understanding. You don't know how the kingdom of darkness is set up to function against you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why. Um, that leads me over. So get there December the 30th, amen, at 7 o'clock p.m. Fast between the 28th and the 30th. Pull your meats out at least. No meat, no sweets. Do fruits and vegetables. Do liquids, amen. The king of stuff in valley, but what? We got to take it by force. Don't allow the devil to run a havoc over your children. Get in there and stand in the gap for them, amen. And this, I woke up, and this is what brought me, I woke up this morning, I asked Pastor Adam, I said, is there an HPP vaccine? Because that's what the Lord has said to me. Mm. And I know it was an HPV, and God says, no, I, I said, I feel, I'm carrying this burden, son and Pastor Adam. And it's a burden of holiness, purity, and power for God. Mm, my God. And God says that my people need a HPP vaccine. God robo shaitan mm. robo. And my heart is just burning because we walk so beneath who God has called us to be. Mm. And God says, I be holy as I am holy. Yes. Purity brings power yes, in yes. the name of Jesus. We are allowing the unholiness and the wickedness. We are allowing the impurity in our lives to rob us yes. of the power and the authority of the, the authority of God. Mm. That goes from the pulpit down to the cockroaches, whoever. Yes. God, God is saying we need an H 
PPP vaccine in the name of Jesus. He's calling his, and I woke up that song. I heard the Lord singing that song over me, bring back the holiness. And that is a burden as a prophet of God that I am carrying that burden for the Lord, that we must bring back the holiness of God. I know it's not popular. I don't care. You, we may get, I may get talked about or what have you, but I believe what God's word says when he has said, be holy as I am holy. I know that that sexual immorality seems to be very popular and even popular in some churches because you got some leaders that won't stand up and tell the people that God says fornication is not right. Homosexuality is not right. Adultery is not right. Pornography is not mm -hmm. right. But we must be the ones. Yeah. And yeah. I sent this text to to someone this morning as we were discussing as we were discussing something. I believe what God words and I'm going to stand on it if I have to cry loud and spare not and be the only one. But I know I'm not the only one. I feel the power of God. I know there's some people that are the righteous that's been crying out to God and hear what God said and they're crying right now saying God there is somebody else that hear the same thing that you've been telling me. And Joel 2 and 17 says let the priests yeah. and the ministers of the Lord, we between, between the porch and, and the altar. altar. That's the reason why this month we had leaders that are standing in the gap, praying at 12 o'clock at night, praying. Why? Because they are the priests. They are the leaders. You're the one that say you're a deacon. You're the one that says you're a deaconess. You're the one saying that you're an apostle. You're the one saying that you're a bishop. You're the one saying that you're a minister. You're the one saying that you're the prophet. He says, let the priests and the ministers weep between the porch and the mm, altar. And let them say, spare thy people, O oh Lord. Lord, and give not thy heritage to a reproach that the heathen yeah. mm. shall rule over them. Come Wherefore on. should they say among the people, where yeah, yeah, is their yeah, God? God? I Come refuse on. to let the Come world on. say, where is their God? And yeah. I know there's some other ones out yeah. there. I got two men in this, mm. ra in this radio broadcast yeah. with me. Mm. Amen. Mm. I don't need everybody. I just need agreement. He said, if I get agreement of one, mm. hallelujah. Mm. Glory be to God. Yeah. Thank Amen. You. And that, that, that goes back right, to Sunday's God. message, uh, Deacon Harrison, prophet. Right, uh, right. and, and you need more information about uh, Gloria Fellowship. It's at 816-795-1900. But uh, uh, we talked about being radical uh, for God. I'm not going to relitigate the whole message. But what it is is when uh, it's a shame uh, that we look so much, the church looks so much like the world that you can't tell the difference. Yes. Yes. So when uh, somebody like Moses stands out, yes. he looks radical. Yes. Right. Uh, when somebody like Noah stands out, he looks radical. Right. When somebody like Jesus preaches the messages that he preaches, he's labeled and called a radical. Sure. But I want to be called a radical for right. God. I want to be called uh, different than everybody else. Right. I want to look different, Deke. Yeah. There's a time and a season yeah. if, if everybody looks the same and, and you can't, if you could walk into a church and it look like a Walmart or you could walk into a church and it look like right. a disco club. Right. If you could walk into a church, that is not radical. Uh, that is uh, uh, conforming to the world. I don't want to conform to the world. I want to be that one that's be transformed by the word. Or uh, even better, I want to be the one in Ephesians 4 with the renewing of my mind yes, so yes. I can strip off the old man and put on the new man. That is a radical movement of God. That is. That is. And radical is not, uh, or it can be looked at as crazy, but we often look at radical as though we're being judged. Mm. Um, and But we don't know that as as body of Christ that we are supposed to look different. We are supposed to Come be on. peculiar. Yeah. We are supposed to be able to call those things that be not as though they are. Mm. We are supposed to walk in faith. We're supposed to lay hands on the sick and then they shall recover. Mm. We are supposed to do greater exploits. These things that, that, that uh, all for us that love, the love Christ. The difference is is too many times is we're going for the popularity. Mm, that's right. Yeah, and, and so radical, and, and like you said, radical seems indifferent. Um, oh, you can't judge me. Oh, 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 you know, but but yet you know that that husband is not yours. That wife is not yours. <laughs> you know, and then we want to, uh, it's just, to me, I prayed that prayer this morning. That's why I got the tears. That prayer of, we often look, defeated as pe body of Christ. Mm. So it makes it look like our God is not with us. 
Yes. And, and, you know, like Prophet said, the reproach. And I was praying that prayer this morning in the shower. I said, Lord, I don't want to be that person when they look and they see, oh, he's busted, always broke. We're right. You know, we can't pay our bills. Mm. We can't sow to the kingdom of God. But the world's advance, always advancing their projects. That's right. And, and, and so my thing was, you know, just like you were with Joseph. Be with mm. me. Yeah. And, but you have to look at Joseph's character, okay? Many of us would have laid with Potiphar's wife. Mm. Ooh, you, see, come on. you have to look at Joseph's character. Even in prison, he still stood up and, and, and trusted God mm. and believed God. Yeah. And then when you look at what Jesus said to the disciples, he said, tarry here. The Holy Ghost is going to bring things to your memory. He's going to teach you. Mm. He's going to empower you. But... Did he say, did he just go, did, Jesus didn't just go out and grab a bunch of strangers out in the street that may have come to one service. Mm. Follow me. Jesus said it to the disciples, those that spent time with him. That's right. You have to spend time with Christ and you have to spend time in the word. Mm. So now they were conditioned to hear so you can recognize when the Holy Spirit comes and leads us out of this nonsense. Yeah, and, and, and did you talk about that. This is so powerful because... As the world began to form, right, and uh, um, sons of God begin to marry women of the world. That's what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 5 and 6. Yeah. They begin to be gotten. They, the world multiplied. They became popular. Mm -hmm. uh, but the as they begin to, to uh, have children and children's children, they start to be, the world became more wicked. Yes. What that is telling us is, first of all, number one, you need to marry in the house of God uh, and, and, and procreate in the house of God. What I mean is, uh, as you marry, yes. uh, you're raising up children of God, not right. children of men. So God said, uh, Noah, build me an ark, because I'm getting ready to wipe the, uh, the earth away. Yes. Uh, but when uh, Noah started building an ark, he looked radical. Yes. <laughs> he, he looked crazy. <laughs> uh, he looked like a fool. He's 500 yes. years old. He got his family. He said, uh, he said and, and imagine that. He's going around the world picking up uh, animals from everywhere uh, two by two yes. and they're coming on the ark and, and people looking at him like he crazy like yes. he said that's what we need to be looking at in the body of christ we need to separate our people from uh, the world that, that the bible says i i don't want to take them out of the world yes. but i want to keep them from the evil one yes. we know we have to exist in this uh realm a uh, worldly realm yes. but what we have to do is be sanctified set apart be a, yes. a, a royal priesthood a holy generation we have to be uh, 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 cleaned up, look like God. Yes. Noah, uh, uh, Noah couldn't help anybody but Noah and his family. Why? Because there wasn't anybody radical enough to hear Noah or radical enough to hear God and say, you know what, I'm going to be holy. That's why it, it, it hurt me when Sodom and Gomorrah, you could see the pain that was going on when so much lasciviousness is in the world. Yes. That's why uh, some of the cities in, in America are struggling because uh, there's so much lasciviousness. That's why uh, Atlantic City is almost a dying city. Yes. My God. Yes. Because... Of the lascivious that was there, the gambling, the prostitution. Uh, why? Wh then you say, preacher, why does Las Vegas get away with it? No, their time is coming. I, I believe in the spirit. Their time is coming. Why does New Orleans get away? Nope, their time is coming. Well, they already had a time. It, it, yeah. It's coming back again. Yeah. And, and, and so what we find is there's got to be a Noah in those cities that will at least leave out. Amen. There's got to be an Abraham in that city, right? Because uh, 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 there's got to be a Lot in that city where uh, uh, Lot left Sodom and Gomorrah. And when he left, he couldn't. God couldn't find anybody that was holy enough to, to be able to carry on a torch. So what did he do? A uh, fire and brimstone came down. I don't want fire and Bring someone to come down on Kansas City. So I'm asking the men and women of God to stand up for God. Look different. If your church, if your church service is, is looking like McDonald's uh, because it's it's, <laughs> it's, have, it, it's just do whatever you want to do, yes. uh, uh, it looks like the McDonald's next door and the McDonald's next door. What is so great about McDonald's is you can go to any McDonald's and the menu is exactly the same. I don't want our churches to be like that. I don't yes, want our, yes. our, our people to be like that. What I want is God originality to rest on each individual church. Some may look more radical than others and that's okay because we're serving God.
Amen. And while you're talking about the radical, <laughs> I want to go to Daniel, yes. Shadrach, oh, yes, yes. Meshach, and Abednego. And this oh is all. So these men, O oh king, they paid no attention to you. They paid no attention. They do not serve your gods or worship the golden image in which you have set. Mm. See, we need some more Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Yes, yes. My God. We're not paying no attention to the enemy or the image that he set up. And then they bring us before uh, and say they're too radical. Mm. They they won't do what we want them to do. And they said, you know what? They won't we, watch a big butt in a smile. No, they won't. <laughs> they won't. No, and they, they won't they won't put on the 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 the, the um the, the boom chiki wow wow so um and with all the <laughs> or as we say in the Caribbean, the blue movies. Y'all y'all know what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. All right. So now the the king sends for them, they come forth and they said, you know, we don't even have to answer you. Mm. Okay, we give too much place to the enemy. We don't even have to answer you. Wow. you to if I don't even want to watch it, I don't have to. I don't even have to answer you. And he said, furthermore, my God will see about this. Yes. yes. And that's who I serve. And even when they were turned up the furnace three times more than they normally and they put uh, uh, normally would and put them in there, what did they see? They saw a fourth person in the fire. Oh, yes, sir. Come on. That's a whole song. Fourth person in the fire. Yeah. Prophetess, we got a minute left. I know you got to yes. give, a, give a word. And, and I, I, I just want to back up what, uh, also what Deacon Harris, Deacon Harris said. Don't let your special possession become an object of mockery. This from the same text. Mm. Mm. Don't let them become Woo. a joke. For Ooh. unbelieving foreigners who say, has the God of Israel left them? And we are answering saying, no, the God of Israel mm -hmm. has not left us. Mm -hmm. There are those of us that will stand in and raise the standard in the name of Jesus. My phone has got texts and people saying, I'm standing with you, prophets. Yes. So, Father, we thank you right now. Yeah, in the master's strong God, name yeah. of Yeshua, Yamashia. Be a, and come yeah, visit with us at Glory Bound Fellowship that. International Church, yeah, 1126 that. Northeast that. Delta that. School that. Road. And as we always say, Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. After hearing this blessed broadcast today and you would like to be a partner with Morning Glory, you can do so by sowing a seed and mailing it to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road, Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need a special prayer of any kind, please call 816-795-1900 or go directly to gbfic.org. Dear John, I'm leaving. Uncontrolled high blood pressure is serious, and I can quit whenever I want. Why can't we get back to when you checked on me? I don't want to leave. But remember, when I quit, you quit. Sincerely, your heart. Listen to your heart. Don't let it quit on you. High blood pressure can lead to a stroke, heart attack, or death. Get yours to a healthy range today. Find out how at heart.org slash blood pressure. A message from the American Heart Association, the American Stroke Association, and the Ad Council. Tómese un minuto para averiguar si podría tener prediabetes. Visite podriatenerprediabetes.org. Pero seguramente no lo va a hacer porque hay mil excusas. Los niños, el trabajo, no tiene tiempo. Pero no se preocupe, estar ocupado previene la prediabetes. <risa> claro que no, cualquiera puede padecer prediabetes, hasta los más ocupados. Visite podriatenerprediabetes.org. No hay excusas, la prediabetes es reversible. Presentado por el Ad Council y sus socios de la campaña educativa sobre la prediabetes. If you've been hurt or in an accident and you need some help but don't know where to get it, call Marvin's Midtown Chiropractic. After the accident, where is it? Marvin's Midtown Chiropractic Clinic, specializing in auto accident injury. Conveniently located in Midtown, Kansas City at 811 East Linwood Boulevard, Kansas City, Missouri, 64109. Give us a call, 816-756-2500. After the accident, where is it? I'm a volunteer at United Way. I'm asking people around the neighborhood what they think this place needs. Wi-Fi everywhere. More playgrounds. Oh, more ice cream trucks. I was thinking more money in the pockets of local families come tax time. Can I change my answer? I was just kidding about the ice cream. When it comes to getting better tax refunds into the hands of local families, what this place needs is you. To donate or volunteer, go to unitedway.org. Because great things happen when we live united. Brought to you by United Way and the Ad Council. I'm in almost every school bus and classroom. I go to school with your children. We say the Pledge of Allegiance together. You see me around the neighborhood and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. 
Well, I'm one out of every five children in America, and I'm struggling with hunger. This problem is caused by the new bank. My teacher tells me we can grow up to be whatever we want. I want to grow up to be someone who doesn't go to bed hungry. There's enough food in this country to feed everybody. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me, quietly struggling with hunger. Together, we are Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. 9132. KPRT Kansas City, a Carter Broadcast Group station, celebrates the reason for the season. Gospel 1590, KPRT.